only up this city, didn't you? <laughs> It'd be easier to burn it up all to the ground. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Allowing dealers to steal from each other may result in less drugs on the street. What? That would suck. You need to stop him then. The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? Piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Looks like someone should give you a slap on the wrist. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't do it. I know you. You don't hurt kids. amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on I promise I will cherish you more often your body readings suggest substance misuse oh man 
and a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I am definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. No chance! Light him up! Don't back up! I'll kill you! Watch out! He's coming! Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way.
read. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! You need to be fighters.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas, but so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough. He always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. <sighs> Boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. 
We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you recall? This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Huh? Robocop! Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles? That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could... You maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. 
He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. 